Hi there and welcome back to Icewindale. We're about to leave East Haven now. Understood. I look for the caravan, but the only thing we find actually is a wolf. Any last words? Three wolves actually. Okay. You have you my sold. attention. Yes. You'll soon be a feast for the crows. Thanks. What? Range Ready. Done. They don't leave any pelts, sadly. Okay. What the fuck? An orc. Fire away. Well, maybe not. And we have a uh, caravan wagons. These wooden caravan wagons are lie empty and abandoned in the snow. Okay. Then we follow the orc into the cave. And find surprise, more I'll orcs. To this one. Here Who I would come, have thought? and the hells come with me. Here. What do you want? I want you to kick some Orders. ass, orc ass. Thanks. Oh, it looks like the fighter, uh, future cleric, leveled. Very nice. Did you drop anything nice? All right. Money. I'm not going to take those axes because they're worth one gold piece. I don't think that's very nice. I'm listening. Moving on. More orcs. You have my attention. Okay. I'm I'd ready. say we kill them. Yes. Oh yeah, we can. That is. Oh, we can actually. Okay. You want a taste of this? What? Kill it quickly. Thanks. Ready. Oh, wait, I was using the sling. Oops. Here. Good thing they didn't hit me. Fire them. Awesome. Agreed. What do we get? Money. Money is always welcome. I'm picking up those bows because I get nine gold pieces per bows. Not that bad. Oh, another orc. Your Better luck's run out. Crass victory. Most fair. Thank you. Who are you? Orc elite. Your Any luck's run out. That orc elite. Okay. No fucking stop it. I don't. Oh wait. I don't like it when they continue walking. Yeah, if you uh, if they attack someone, and that one dies before they actually get off a shot, then I don't know. The AI lets them walk to the position where the monster stood. I don't know why it does that. It's a glitch, I guess. Keep to the shadows, Kill the shaman first because it might actually do something evil. Orders. Like cast a spell or something. I'm listening. And the mage should you then get the yes. fuck out of here. You have my attention. Something wrong? Yes. What? Yeah. Okay. Ready. I'll attend ready for this me. one. Thanks. Here. Ready and waiting. No, not with bare hands. Orders? You have ideas. Here I come, and the hells come with me. Time to trim this one down to size. Don't run. I don't want to chase you. Thank you. Done. So, what do we get? Money. Would have thought. 
we might get money here. And a box. Oh wait, I didn't pick up the bow. Give me the bow. Thanks. What do we... Ah, oh, dang it. What do we get here? What's that? These wooden cra uh, supply crates... These are wooden supply crates, no doubt offloaded from the wagons outside. The crates appear to be intact and unopened. That's good news, I guess. I'm listening. You're killing. Quickly and quietly goes the player to its work. Ha! <laughs> it's already had enough. Thanks. You and have my attention. One. Thank you. File. Kill this one first. Here I come. And the hell's come with me. Thank you. Now we kill this one. And you Ready. should probably use a sword. Yes. As what? should you. No, use a sling. Ready. And kill this one. Thank you. And now we kill you. Wait a second. You Go should ahead. switch back to the bow. Here. You change the sword. Orders. And let's spell some Slay the orc. Like that, exactly. All right. I don't need a quarter staff. It's worth nothing. Okay, moving on. Ox. I'm listening. Give me a target now. You have my attention. You will do well to fear a woman's wrath. You'll soon be a feast for the crows. And the last one too, if possible. Okay, that yes. sucks big time. First I'll of all, it. you're way what too you close need? to the orc. Right. You're a mage. You should get out of here. Oh wait, you're. I'm here. Oh, you're god mode. Right. Death comes for you. Okay, wait a second. If he's fleeing, what? don't run. Ready. Follow him. Do it like this. All right. And there's something I want to try now. So I save, and if I take a look at the chest, I get. Okay. Oh yes, I should have given that stuff to you. So those gems can go into the pouch and the necklace too. That's a protection from petrification. I can ride that. Oh yeah, the the mod I'm using, the ease of use mod, changes something. Every um, mage and bar that has an intelligence that is higher than 15 gets a chance to learn a spell of 100%. So I don't have to save and reload that often. Uh, it's very convenient, I think. But then again, a mage can go up to the spells of the ninth level, but that would mean I I would need an intelligence of 19 uh, to actually cast level nine spells. I don't think that I I don't know whether the mod changed that. I guess not because it would have been written in the readme file. Yeah. So I hope there's a way to increase my the intelligence of Zeldana here. Or she will not be able to cast level 9 spells. Oh well. 
We will deal with that once the problem actually arises. And we get the girdle of beatification. Priests of Helm and Burders consecrated this belt and gave it to the uh, warrior Thom Wainwright, who had performed a number of great services for the church, including the destruction of the Unseeing Eye and the cult that followed him, the blinded acolytes. Thom wore the girdle proudly until he fell into severe debt in his later years. To his undying regret, he auctioned it off to a well known priest of Mask. Wearers under the effects of a blessed spell while equipped. That's very awesome, I guess. Give it to you. See? Bless. Here. Like this very much. So um, I, I thought, well, I was actually, actually trying to get that girdle. If it wouldn't have been in the chest, I would have reloaded. Orders? Uh, just to see Give whether the, word. the uh, you know, the, I'm listening. the things that are in the chest would change oh. after reloading. I guess I'll, I'll do it. that. Get the Death bug out. Comes for you. The mage was in front. Let's not talk about that. Sardana, what are you doing? Do you actually want to die? Some sort of death wish? I wish you hadn't. Fire. Death comes for you. Oh, take a look at that. There's an archer. There was an archer. Okay, let's form up here. And the question is, you do have we my have attention. anything that would buff us, might evil, protection from evil? Hmm, that's pretty much all we need. Huh? Yes. Okay. Um, Agreed. Get down here. This will be funny. This battle actually is somewhat my difficult. God, what? Everybody what do you has want? ranged weapons. I suppose yes. I'm free to do your so dirty we kill work. the ogre first because Ready. he really can't lay on the herd. Okay, he healed himself and now he's dead. Awesome! I like this very much. Here. I'm ready. Orders? Got it. Death comes for you. This ends now. Let's spill some blood. Okay. Very I'm nice. Listening. Now we kill the archers. Something wrong? You have my attention. <laughs> And the paladin level, take a look at that. Very useful. Yes. Are you ready for me? Killed you. Okay, so that battle actually Done. was really easy. It doesn't have to be like this. I guess I was lucky I was able to kill the uh, ogre before he reached my party. So we got caravan contract. Hmm, Balin, deliver these five crates of supplies to the Emporium in East Haven. Make sure to get a fair price from that unscrupulous Kalishite weasel po map. Use the profit to acquire three barrels of uncarved scrimshaw from Gaspar's warehouse there in East Haven. Return to Camp Dinevel with the three barrels and you shall have your agreed upon payment. Keep your eyes to the tundra. There have been reports of orcs in the hills outside of East Haven. It might be wise to use your advanced payment to hire on some extra caravan guards. Safe journey, Ilmus Galloway of Cardinal. Okay. So yeah, the caravan never actually reached its destination. Because Orcs intercepted it. It sucks, I know. Uh, 
And what's in here? A winter wolf pelt and a scroll of horror that the mage can probably use. Okay, and that's pretty much all. Mm -hmm. The arrows go to you. What? And now it's time to leave those caves. Everybody out. Okay, very nice. Bye bye. Agreed. So, first we go to Hrothgar and tell him that we found the caravan. time is it actually? Oh, 12 hour of the first day to yeah well. Very nice. And there's no you know point in resting right now. Cause we do not really help much. Uh, Steve lost one hit point and the uh, uh fighter lost one hit point. Uh, two actually. Hi Rothgar, good. guess what I found? Oh, good. You've returned. What news of the caravan from Kaer Denival? I came across the caravan just outside of town. It looked as if it had been attacked some time ago by orcs. I tracked the orcs to a nearby cave and paid them back for their butchery. butchery. The caravan supplies are safe within the cave. Mm, strange. It is not usual for orcs to be so brazen as to attack caravans so close to town. I wonder if it is the anticipation of the coming winter that is driving their actions, or if it is something more. In any case, at least we can still retrieve the supplies, thanks to you. You've proven yourself to be quite capable. I'm glad you've decided to come along with us to Kaldahar. Thank you. When do we leave? We still have preparations to make before we can depart for Kaldahar. Take this list of supplies to Pomarb's Emporium across town. And we get 2,400 XP. While you're there, you might outfit yourselves with whatever gear you think you may need. Return here when you are packed and ready to go. Very well, I shall return shortly. And Zeldana and Tolpan leveled again. And we got another scroll. Supply list. This um, plain piece of parchment contains a list of equipment ranging from length of rope to rations and torches. A short note has been scribbled upon the back of the list. POMAP. Seeing as you have seen fit to volunteer to outfit our expedition to Kaldar, I have written down a list of items we will be needing. I trust the equipment you will provide will be of quality, unlike the shoddy junk you foisted off on my last expedition. Rothgar. Okay, and now Tolpan is level 3. And Seldana is level 2, finally. 12 hit points, damn it. But she can learn another spell. Okay. So, I don't know, since we have that contract, let's see whether they can do something about it at the warehouse. I'm on it. Confidence is low, but I gotta try. I never tried this before, though. You coming? Yes. I'm on it. No. Nothing. 
Uh, but someone who actually can Ready. do something right. with the contract is the fishmonger. So let's give him the contract. Hi there. Stay. Understood. Ah, hello again, my friends. I want to thank you for looking out for my boy, Damien. He told me all about you and the monsters. Oh, you're lucky we happen to be nearby. You really ought to keep that little breath on a shorter leash. Yes, well, I keep telling him not to fish the far shores, but you know how impetuous boys can be. In any case, what brings you to my home today? Your home? I thought this was a fishmonger's shop. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Interesting. Have you heard of someone named Ilmus Galloway? Why, yes, you know him? We found his contract on the body of an ogre in a cave outside of town. I'm afraid the caravan from Kaer Dineva never made it. This is terrible news. I must send word to Ilmos up at Kaer Dineva at once. A new, con will have to be a new contract will have to be negotiated immediately, so another caravan can be set before the snow hits. Uh, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Here's something for your troubles. Wait, 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 wait. The crates are still in the cave, unopened, so the caravan, if you just go there, take the crates, then the caravan actually arrived in East Haven. So just send another caravan with uh, the knucklehead trout back to Cardinable. You don't need another caravan from Cardinable. Oh well, whatever. We got 1200 XP of that. That's nice. Thank you. Farewell. And 25 gold. And now we bring that... Um, Agreed. A scroll to Pomap. Pomap's Emporium. Hey, get in there. Stupid. Oh. That was an NPC. I'll handle Everything it. is fine. You again. Why must you continuously pester me? I have much to do and little time to trifle with the likes of you. I have come to deliver the supply list from Hrothgar. Very well, give it here. Now be on your way. The expedition will be departing shortly. It would be a shame if they left without you. <laughs> Sucker. One moment, yeah, we get 1,200 XP out of that. I would like to buy something, or rather sell, short bows. Oh, we only get six now. Hmm. But then it's better than nothing. And 225 for the Winter Wolf Pelt. And that's pretty much all. We could sell the gems. Don't get much for them though. Close back, and I guess I wanna buy more bullets. And more arrows. And that's pretty much all we need, I guess. Yeah, I think we're well equipped. Here. We could buy a few more potions, but we don't really need them, so let's return to Rothgar. Done. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hi. Mm. Agreed. Guess who made it back? There you are. All is set. The others are assembling as we speak. Are you ready to leave as well? Yes, we are ready to leave. Let us be off. So it was that the patchwork militia set off from East Haven, bound for the troubled village of Kaldahar, with the party of strangers in tow. On they traveled, across the windswept tundra of the day through the foothills of the spine of the world, and upwards on the steep and treacherous trails of the Kaldahar Pass. Eager to seek out the evil that threatened the pass, they did not expect it to find them first. High upon the cliffs of the pass, a band of frost giants had prepared an ambush. Hurling boulders and dislodging massive outcroppings of rock and snow, the giants sparked an avalanche that thundered down the mountainside and crashed down upon the heads of the unsuspecting expedition. Those fortunate enough to survive the avalanche 
pulled themselves free of the mountain of snow and bodies that now barred the way back to East Haven. Battered and disheartened by the loss of their comrades, the survivors had little choice but to continue on to Kaldahar, alone. Merciful gods, you are lucky to be alive. Are you alright? Anything broken? We seem to be in one piece. Who are you? I am just an aging soul who prefers the solitude of these mountains to the hustle and bustle of town life. I tell you, I have lived in this pass for years and I have never seen anything like what just happened. Did you witness the avalanche? Yep, I saw the whole thing. I was sleeping in my cave over yonder when I felt the ground begin to shake and heard a rumbling something fierce. Um. I stumbled outside just in time to see the avalanche come crashing down. It's a good thing you ran forward instead of back into the pass like the others. Poor bastards. One thing's for sure, I'm not digging their bodies out from under there. They'll have to wait till the snows melt to receive a proper burial. We're touched by your concern for our fallen comrades. Do you by chance know the way to Kaldahar? Kaldahar? Why would you want to go to that little miserable burg? Nothing there but a big tree and a bunch of shacks and lean -tos. It's an eyesore if you ask me. There has been word that some sort of trouble has befallen the town. We've come to land whatever aid we can. Hmm, a fool's errand. You'd be better off worrying about yourselves and leaving them townsfolk to deal with their own problems. We appreciate your advice. Now, do you know the way or not? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to point you in the right direction. Follow this trail east through the valley. Kaldahar lies just beyond the old mill. But you do well to keep your guard up. There are goblins everywhere between here and town. Filthy little buggers. Ever since them townsfolk abandoned their farmsteads, they've been crawling all over the valley like they own the place. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Okay, so we are all that's left of the expedition. A good thing we didn't lose any party members. And we have goblins to kill. So we do that. This ends now. Uh, goblins kill. Thank you. You would do well to fear a woman's wrath. Orders. And you too. I'm here. I'm listening. Let me guess, you don't Understood. have anything that I need. No, just a shield and an axe. Small shield and battle axe. Don't need You it. have my attention. Oh, more goblins. Yes. Give the word. What? Fly away. And there's another one here. To the butcher's work, then. Thanks. I'm on it. Oh, more goblins. Take a look at that. Uh, wait, who is an archer? You're an archer. This means you die first. Ready. What do you want? You go melee on those goblins. Here. Quickly, quietly goes the play to its work. Any last words? Thank you, that worked nicely. Understood. Um, there's a little crate. With a healing potion. Okay, so we form up here. And get Orders. more goblins. I'm ready. I'm listening. Time to trim this one down to size. Understood. Is that already? You have my attention. Something wrong? No. Everything is yes. fine. Keep to the shadow Just kill the goblin. And the battle will be won. 
Oops, that appears to be a critical hit. The way the body parts are flying. I'll handle it. What? Uh, the mill wheel is stuck in a frozen creek. Though it shows signs of heavy use, there appears to be no way it could operate in its current environment. I believe that, actually. Oh, hi. Oh, wait a second. Ready. Use melee weapons. Ready and waiting. Uh, Here. ranged weapons. All right. To the I'll butcher's work business. then. Awesome. There's a tower. What do we find on the inside? An ogre. Right. He will smash your face. Garrick. Head hurt. Why make Garrick's head hurt skinny people? Garrick smash puny humans. No, that would have been the hawk. Uh, what's wrong with your head? Not no! Walk here from my cave. Need to answer calls. Now cannot. And the head, it hurts. Garrick want to pound head against small to make head okay. Hmm. I think I'll leave you now alone, Garrick. Farewell. Okay, if we had a druid in our party, we could have helped him. But since we do not have a druid, uh, we have to find Understood. another druid. To actually, you know, find out what's wrong with the ore. Um, ogre. And there's a cave here. But since it's been late already, um, we will enter that cave in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!